Good morning. I would like to talk this morning about whether disfellowshipping is an act of love, which is what Watchtower teaches elders. So we might look at 1 Corinthians 5 verse 5, which is Paul's words. And he was talking about a, a case of fornication, which was serious in the congregation. And he said this, hand such a man over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh. In other words, the man was disfellowshipped, but he was handed over to Satan. Is that an act of love? No, of course it isn't. So why was it done? It was done to save the spirit in the day of the Lord. There is a case for disfellowshipping. There is wickedness in this world. Nobody wants a paedophile in the congregation. And while such a person should benefit from spiritual guidance, we don't, we don't want an unrepentant paedophile in the congregation. It's so unsafe. So yes, there's room, but Watchtower, stop teaching elders that disfellowshipping is an act of love for all sins. It most certainly is not. So what's the worst sin of all? Well, obviously, adultery, stealing, murder and so on are harmful and it doesn't show love of neighbour. But the worst sin Jesus reserved for the scribes and Pharisees, as he said in Matthew 23, verse 33, he said, you are serpents, a brood of vipers. How can you escape being condemned? Now, these people were righteous, well, self-righteous. They kept the law to the nth degree. They made sacrifices. They didn't steal. They didn't commit adultery. But as one of you put in the comments previously, they lacked humility. So they went beyond the scriptures and wrote a book of rules, which is never, ever going to work. So what can be done then for someone who sins? Well, in Galatians 6, Paul says, 6 verse 1, Brothers, if one of you misbehaves, the more spiritual, spiritual of you who sets him right should do so in a spirit of gentleness, not forgetting that you may be tempted yourselves. In other words, remember that we are all sinful. But this case of setting somebody right, the word means to adjust or to restore, and it's used to equip people for work that they need or for a better life. It was used of the disciples mending their nets. Now their fishing nets were extremely valuable, but they were going to be torn up either on rocks or some nasty fish might bite through it or something. So what did they do? Did they throw the nets away? No, they didn't. They mended them. And that's the connotation of this word in Galatians. People need to be mended. It's like having a bone broken. If you break a bone in your arm, do you cut the arm off? No, you don't. You set the bone and you help it to heal. Disfellowshipping can be lazy, a lazy act on the part of elders. So what help again is there for sinners? And we are all sinners. Not everything I say on this channel will be absolutely right. And you can correct me in your comments and add to it and, you know, flesh it out, which you have done, which is lovely. But in 1 John 2, the Apostle John wrote this. I'm writing you this, my children, to stop you sinning. But if anyone should sin, what does he say? You're going to be thrown out of the congregation? No. If anyone should sin, we have a helper. We have an advocate with the Father. That is Jesus Christ, who is just. He is the sacrifice that takes our sins away. Not only ours, but the whole world. So we can draw comfort from this. 
that Jesus will take our sins away. And we need to look at our brothers, not with a view to how sinful are you, but how can we help one another? And your comments that you put in the last video, thank you very much. The Pharisees couldn't see the miracle. They could only see that Jesus had broken one of their rules in their books. There was a need for humility, that the letter of the law kills, uh, the spirit of the law heals, that we can help one another in our situation and we can draw comfort from the fact that Jesus will look for us when we're thrown out of the congregation. He will look for us to help us. And as God said in Proverbs 18.10, he will put us in a high place. That means he will put us out of reach of wicked men, out of reach of harassment from elders. He will put us in a safe place. So you might write some more comments and flesh this out. But in the next video, we might look at shunning and we'll see how we get on with that. Thank you so much.